glad I have two monitors. I've said this story before, but because I had two monitors, I can instantly, out of habit, just look at my OBS on the second monitor and go, oh, hey, the mic's not on because I don't see the green and red bars, you know, going up and down, right? There's no, basically, there's no voice being processed. It's like, oh. And I've done that twice. I did two full videos in the past, or, yeah, and then it's like, oh, my God. I didn't have the mic on. I was so pissed. All right, so anyway, uh, so it's been quite a ride, actually, you know, like Greg Manuel said, and I was also surprised, yeah, the Russia-Ukraine FUD, already over, like, within basically 24 hours, so, yeah, so everything went to shit, right, the markets went to shit, I, I, I bought some puts, right, when I made that video, and I went to bed, but I set a pre-sell order on my Ledger X account to sell it for, faith, for like, about 40% higher than what I bought it for. So basically I bought a put option for $27 and I had it sold, sell at $37. So I made like 20 bucks profit because I don't have much left in my options account. So, and, and now that I have to deal with two technically new problems, right? Market manipulation by rich people now, because Greg's even saying, he even says his insiders are, are claiming that they're manipulating the crypto markets now. And I kind of was getting suspicious of this too. So the, the four-year cycle for Bitcoin, all the stuff I used to talk about is no longer valid because of manipulation. So unlike gold and silver, I do still think that there's a chance that we can actually break out of the manipulation or if they keep manipulating. We're just going to keep making more and more money because with all these DeFi projects, right, with all these crazy APY yields, you know, we're all just going to get rich, right? And so we're going to make the manipulation work for us, right? You know, we're going to make it work for you and me, right? And anyone smart enough to actually watch my channel, okay? So we're just going to get rich, right? We'll let the global, uh, globalist, global H word, F words, you know, play their shit game and we'll play our game, right? Like Greg would always uh, say. And, you know, actually I could probably close this actually. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just take advantage of the situation and then go from there. So let's see. So that's a quick recap of the Russia Ukraine FUD. All my positions are up like I knew it would. I'm just so glad that it's actually happening really quick. All right. There was a point where I was like, oh man, uh, I know it'll turn around, but you know, it was like, I need money for Monday. There's a sphere finance whitelist. Cause I'm on the whitelist there. Actually, I wasn't like one of the first people in the server. So, you know, I need to come up with up to $4,000 for Polymatic, right? You know, but I think I'm really only going to wind up spending $500 to $1,000 because I think the pre-sale is going to go really quick. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I was like, you know what? I, I'm not displaying faith in God, so I'm going to let him deal with it, all right? And lo and behold, you know, everything turns around just like magic, right? Because it really is magic. And then, yeah, now I'm doing pretty well. You know, I'm actually going to compound my way from two, well, now three, mansions in Red Nodes District, R&D or whatever, right? The Playmates thing. And I'm going to compound that from three all the way to 49 mansions. So I calculate it should take me about 60 days. But I'm going to redo the calculations because I'm pulling in the last of my Shiba and dog, baby dog reserves to go and put that all in the R&D instead. Because if we're going to have this kind of manipulation in the crypto markets, then the actual right move is to basically accumulate crypto while pulling profit. That's actually the only way to win. Because you don't know when everything's going to explode, right? You don't know when the stock markets specifically the debt market is going to explode, all right? <laughs> Just like what's happening in Ukraine. But, you know, there's one thing I do know. Like, you can manipulate markets for a very long time. The Federal Reserve and central bankers are masters of this, right? All of this is ultimately the Federal Reserve, the central banks of the world. So as long as they can, <clears throat> as long as they can keep fucking with the markets, J.P. Morgan, the big banks, Wells Fargo, UBS, whatever, right? You name it, they do it. Right? As long as they keep manipulating everything from gold and silver to stocks to bond yields to cryptocurrencies, especially. Right now, Greg hit the wrong button. Right? Especially now Greg Manorino is saying, yes, you know, they are manipulating it. Right? I was able to kind of figure it out, but I don't have any sources. Greg Manorino not only can figure it out, but he actually has sources. 
So now we got to change things. And then also, I kind of got Andre Kronje, that stupid asshole, to block me on Twitter, right? Because I called his dumbass out for fucking up the Phantom Network. And that put me in a little small rabbit hole. But yeah, Phantom is basically actually centralized. It's actually being run by selfish, greedy assholes. They are deliberately not scaling Phantom to push up transaction fees and times, which means you, the poor people, get fucked. And that actually really pissed me off. So I kind of lashed out on, on Andre, you know, he blocked me. People say he's a nice guy, but he's really not nice, right? How is it nice to deliberately fuck up the Phantom Network and claim that you're for the people and then not do anything about it? Because this fucking asshole exchange, right, called Solidly, there's actually a problem where, like, basically what's happening is just claiming all the rewards, right? There's a, there's a couple, there's like two bots specifically that are constantly claiming the rewards. That's why the Phantom Network is you know, congested, and he doesn't seem to care or do anything about it. So, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I won't be able to know because, you know, he blocked me on Twitter, but fuck him, you know. I don't give a shit. Fuck that guy. I don't care who or what you are. If you're a fucking asshole, especially towards poor people, after you told them that you're there, you're for them, I get really fucking pissed about that, all right? Because I know what it's like to be poor. I had fucking nothing, all right? And I fucking hate these evil rich people, all right? But anyway, the point is, you know, I did a little bit of research before doing the recording. That's why it's taking me so long. Right now it's 10.47 a.m. On this cloudy but beautiful New York City day. And yeah, uh, they're not, there are many votes proposed to lower the validators, all right? Because right now there's only 51 validators for Phantom, so that's why the transactions per second are apparently very low. And they're, and they're just not changing it. And then and then the logic is the Phantom Network wants to stay centralized so they can upgrade the protocol more. Well, there are no fucking upgrades coming. All right? It's, it's not hard to put two and two together. So, unfortunately, it is what it is. I can't do anything because I'm not, you know, famous or Harry E. Rich or both. That would be the ideal. And then we could have done something about it. But, um, well, I mean, I have you guys and gals, so... We'll make the best of the situation, but because of because these elevated gas fees, actually, let's see what it is, gas tracker. Because of what it is, yeah, this is yeah, it's not going on whatever. Yeah, it's these it's these fucking two contract assholes. All right, well, what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to adjust my strategy. The problem is people still keep launching tune forks. Just like this one, Comet Finance, that we're going to eventually talk about. Uh, like, people have got to make the right choice and go on other blockchains. Like, AVAX is, like, the perfect solution. You get There's more money. It makes a lot of money. Snowy Owl is recovering really nicely. I'm, like, at this point, I don't know how much profit I made off it, but I'm going to continue making infinite money. And I've got all my other projects that I've been covering on this YouTube in Yield Wolf, right? I put, like, what, anywhere from $60 to, a couple, to like, a couple hundred. And some of them are down big, like Draco Finance uh, or maybe Scarface. I actually wound up going into that, all right? Uh, but again, all the markets are recovering, right? You know, two forks are recovering. Even two shares and three shares is recovering. I should actually, I'm actually going to actually add that to my content queue because there's a lot of search traffic and I do know what's going on with it. Two shares, three shares, uh, update content. So, and it's and the two shares and three shares are not only a, on a up, huge upswing, it's still pretty cheap from before. So I want to catch that wind. Uh, okay. Because I even see people talking about that on like the Phantom Foundation Reddit, all right? Because that's what I was, I was checking for the reason why Phantom fees are congested. And, oh yeah, I'll finish that thought. These, these elevated gas fees for Phantom are here to stay. Unless... I mean, I, I'm blocked, right? I, mean, I should block him back, but whatever. I, I'm more than happy to just call a stupid asshole fake ass out. Andre Kronje or whatever his name is, right? Andre Kronje Tech, right? Uh, he's not going to do anything about... Here, I close it. He's not going to do anything about this, all right? The reason why is because Solidly has some kind of, like, claim thing, and... Like, the, the, then someone or a couple people, right, wrote these two contracts. Probably other people are doing the same thing, writing contracts that constantly claim the reward. And that's why there's, like, a f 11 fucking million transactions in the pending queue, right? If I just look at this, look. 
Yesterday, this was at 25,000. Now it's at 38,873 total transactions. Look at how many, look at this. Yeah, you want to know why you're going You're going to get poor on Phantom with, through gas fee paying? It's right here, all right? And, and this is Andre Karanje's fault because he does, he's not going to fix this, all right? At least I, not that I'm aware of, all right? I just want him to fix it so that this fucking asshole box, these contracts don't keep jamming up the network and then fucking you and me over. But, um, whatever. So anyway, they're not going to, the devs and whatever, they don't seem to, not only the Andre Kranje asshole, but like the Phantom devs themselves, the people who actually run the foundation, they don't seem interested at all in fixing the congestion problem. So it's going to be here for a while. You know, I only see a few people getting angry about the uh, network fees, or there are a lot of them, and they're all just getting banned off of Reddit and blocked or whatever. So I don't know, because I know censorship is a big problem, so... I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see. All right, so I did a pretty quick rundown. This is one of the projects I kind of alluded to that I didn't want to mention. Now that I'm finally in this, I got it a little cheap yesterday, even though I had to pay the crazy fees. Uh, you know, it still pays pretty well. Right now it's like 22 to 25.6%. You know, let's see, let's set this to one hour chart. It's uh, pretty much... Yeah, so when the whole Russia-Ukraine flood shit happened, I finally bought in somewhere around down here. So it was really nice. I wound up paying like $4.07 each for my comments. Uh, and then, of course, if you look at the shares version of Comet Finance, right? Not to be confused with a rug pull, also with the name of rug, I mean, <laughs> no, rug, Comet something, cause, but they were a universe fork road or something. Yeah, so nowadays I don't actually deal with the shares because... You know, like I said in a previous video, I still have to do the strategy update, but I'm just so backlogged, and I'm just a little tired, too. All right, I've been watching a little too much Attack on Titan. That, that's another thing, too. That's such a fucking good show. You know, and it appears that their show is still running, but it's in the final season. So it's like, oh, this is great. So I gotta actually slow down my consumption of it, because, you know, I have to wait one week for a new episode. And I'm not even sure if Crunchyroll even translates it that quickly, right? I mean, it would make sense that, you know, us Americans that, uncultured Americans that only speak English, you know, we have to wait for a, tra a, a, a English subtitle translation. Actually, actually, they're not dubbing it, right? Because I actually listen to it in native Japanese, so I get the authentic experience. I read the subtitles. So actually, maybe it wouldn't be that long. Yeah, but anyway, they're only up to, like, episode 76 on Crunchyroll anyway, so... Uh, anyway, whoa, 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 what was I, oh yeah, I was, a, yeah, so that's why I've been sleep. I slept at like 2 a.m. yesterday, I feel great fine right now, I'm fine, but, let me actually add this to my thing, uh, but, but yeah, uh, Comet Finance, hey, it's called Comet Finance, right, yeah, Comet Finance, it was doing pretty well, all right. Everything else is going up, uh, back up, and then partial finance is also doing. Wait, partial, right? Yeah, partial finance is doing pretty well too. So you know, I'm I'm pretty I'm big chilled. I'm pretty happy. You know, Snowy always ca carrying me while Zilla, you know, Zilla Finance does its thing, right? You know, David Zilla is doing a really good job forcing up the peg of the base token. So my original point was nowadays. Because just about every project I'm in has not only high APR, that's my personal strategy right now, has a high a, a, a daily APY, which already basically means you're printing a lot of tokens, which then causes dumping pressure, but we're also above peg. So because of that, I mean, what does a team forks print, right? They print shares like mad. So you're making a lot of these shares. So it doesn't make sense to actually go in the shares because you're going to have constant dumping pressure on you, right? It's a lot safer safer to go with the base token like you'd see here at Comet, and it should still skyrocketing as I uh, record this, because when things go to shit, what's the first thing everybody has to do? You have to get above peg. Well, what's above peg? Your base token. So... Everyone is going to naturally have to force up the buying pressure of your base token. So that's what I want. Especially if we get another situation with like Russia, Ukraine or the next FUD event. And trust me, it's coming. Whether it's energy crisis, inflation, uh, or another war. right? I mean, I'm actually fully expecting China to take over Taiwan and just annex that shit. Right? 
you know, I just put a tweet out where Joe Biden, for whatever retarded reason, wait, this is plan B, for whatever reason, thought that, you know, this is from Disclose, but pre Joe Biden at men presented China with intel on Russian troop buildups in the hopes that President Xi would step in. Of course, my racial distant brother and said, go fuck yourself, and gave that intel with Moscow. And probably just told him, hey, this is uh, what America knows about. You should probably change up your shit. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. Vodka, next, vodka poker next week? Uh, yes. <laughs> right? Like, basically, America and the West constantly bitch about China, harass them. Like, we have three aircraft carriers that constantly patrol China's seas, right? And just harass them and be annoying. And then we constantly antagonize them over the Taiwan shit, right? Really? So we're constantly pissing them off, you know, Technically, I'm a right-wing conservative guy, but I don't like a lot of right-wing people, right? So I kind of understand why left-wing people don't like people like us. Yeah, I don't like them either, right? But, you know, they constantly bitch about Chinese people and China specifically, and then, of course, don't do anything about it, which makes it even worse. But, I mean, technically, I guess that's okay for me, but I still have to deal with it. That's why everyone wants to punch us on the street, because everyone blames us for everything, right? And then fucking, you know... What do you expect China to say, right? You're just constantly pissing them off. So why the like? Why what would? So why would Joe Biden? Why would China? Why would China help someone that is constantly fucking pissing them off and doing all this annoying bad shit, and then sacrifice their own troops essentially and their economy on behalf of an asshole, which in this case is America and the West, to go attack an actual friend, which is Russia in this case. Like, I don't understand how people, like, I don't understand, like, ah, uh, I just don't understand this. I just don't understand this. But if I look at it from the perspective of we're run by stupid, evil people, then it makes total sense. And that's what we have, right? Unfortunately, with Phantom, it's run by smart, evil people, specifically greedy, evil people. So, yeah. But anyway, I already bitched about the gas fees for Phantom. So, anyway... Uh, see, yeah, see, Meteor is going down, but the price of comics going up. So again, I've been, so that's why I'm just doing the base tokens. And then on top of that, I'm already getting a crazy high daily APR. I are, so at this point, I'm already making a lot of money APR-wise, so I'd rather have sa more safety and stability, right? Now, both of these coins can still drop like crazy, so there's, you're not really fully safe, but... If, but because I'm going to choose to do this, I assume a lot of you are going to as well, you'll take less damage ultimately from the base token, right? So that's why I recommend doing this, right? Not financial advice, blah, 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 that stupid saying, which, which quite frankly, if, you know, when St. Nick and America Firsters take control of America, I think one of the first things you should do is just remove that stupid rule. Like, it, it's really just retarded. So, yeah, and again, like I said, when this thing, if it does go below pay, which is always going to happen at one point, right, forced buying pressure will always concentrate again on the base token. So, you know, you're, you're, you're really setting yourself up as best as you can for success. So, and not surprisingly, I'm an FTM comment, right? It's not even that much different from the, the shares daily APR. And you can tell, look, the TVL... You, know, you don't have to take my word for it. Just look at the TVLs. Way more people are on FTM Comet than the Meteor. Why? Right? Because these people are smart like me. Right? Or smarter than me. They figured the exact same thing. In fact, you probably already figured that out too. Right? Which is why you're watching my channel. Right? Smart people or great people think, uh, think alike. Or similar people. Whatever the stupid saying is. Okay. So, I could not find anything about renouncing or the contract, so technically that could be a risk, right? No renouncing. But they've been around for at least, like, what, a week now? A couple of weeks. They launched sometime around February 17th. Yeah, so they've been around for, like, eight days. So if they were going to... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. They're on Wield Wolf, so maybe they do have something renounced and they just didn't really tell anybody. Or they told someone and they just don't, you know, uh, whatever, uh, post it somewhere in the docs. It didn't... Li yeah, so whatever. Uh, okay, so you're going to stake on the website, you get 18.24%, you stake for the base pair, you stake on the Meteor FTM LP, you get 
All right, it's actually lower than Yield Wolf, or slightly lower, so you should definitely use Yield Wolf. No, you should always use Yield Wolf, basically, no matter what. Uh, okay, on top of that, it all, the another thing is, by using Yield Wolf instead of the website, in case that it does go scam or you get hacked, the contract or whatever, you know, the website is actually riskier than on Yield Wolf, right? Because I'm sure Yield Wolf has like a bunch of checks and scans, so that even if the website rug pulls, you'll, your money on Yield Wolf is safe. All right, so that's that's what I think in theory, right? Because you know, I don't think a hacker can can hack Yield Wolf, right? So you know that so it's a little bit of a safety thing, right? Because let's say a website rug pulls, but you don't revoke the permissions. Maybe in six months, when everyone's forgotten about the project, the asshole starts activating, you know, that approval and starts taking all your money from your, from your MetaMask or something. So, I mean, I think the risk of that is still pretty low because it still requires you to approve it on your end. Uh, but again, you just don't want to leave any of these like these things to chance, right? Especially as you get richer and richer, right? You know, like you are getting richer and richer. At least I hope so. You should. I am too. So, you know, the the incentive that like hack us and shit, right? You know, just it just goes up over time. So you just gotta really uh, just be careful eventually. All right. So I already looked at the charts. I mean, yeah, it's above TWAP, right? Two point seventy seven specifically. But this thing already bottomed out at like basically one point thirty one FTM. So I was gonna, I wanted to buy it, but the problem is the Phantom gas fees were just crazy, right? Because solidly just launched, so it, it was, it was just unusable. And on top of that. I also realized that the Sphere Finance whitelist sale for us whitelisters is on Monday in the 28th. So I had to scramble for money. So basically, I'm not even putting any more money in my bank account. I actually had a little more money in my bank account than I thought. So I don't have to put any money in. And then that's it. I'm out of money uh, after March 10th, right? Because then I have to actually make rent. So, uh, but yeah, but, you know. Oh, and then the Russia-Ukraine shit hit. So, like, it was a pretty, it was a pretty tough in rough situation but you know hey i mean i just knew that these things would happen all right so anyway i'm in phantom comet you can choose to go into meteor phantom i would really recommend against that yeah. you know because i mean yeah i guess the shares are relatively cheap at like basically 100 bucks and look it also bottomed out right let's see this says around 49 dollars so not too bad all right but either way you know but again it's up to you but for now, I'm just big chilling in the base phantom pairs. So, all right, my next video is going to be Pulse Dow. You know, the APR on that has gone down recently, but yeah. And I kind of, see, the thing is, and then I was thinking about if I don't know, if I'm going to do three videos today, but I was going to do Apex Finance. That, that's that been hit pretty hard. It's still trying to recover, so I could maybe wait on that. So, hmm. Excuse me. So Pulse Dow, I'll do Pulse Dow next, right? Just get that out of the way. And then after that, I'll do the two shares, three shares uh, content update on that as well. I mean, it's, that's just going to be a short video, but it's going to be pretty good because I see a lot of people searching for that apparently and commenting on it. So yeah. I'm pretty sure Dow King, Dow Kingdom Twitter. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go into here. Uh, DGen Finance. Oh yeah, this this thing. Fuck that project. Uh, I'm not in Platinum. Uh, I don't have to follow him anymore because I'm not in DGen Finance. It's a good project, but it's just too expensive. I mean, I'm not in Animal. I'm not in Chicken Farm anymore. Let's see. I'm not doing this project. Uh, piggy, 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 oink, oink, oink. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not, I'll just, whatever. Sphere, Snow 2, yeah, here it is. What are the projects am I, whatever, okay. So that's good, I actually freed up some of my following, so. Alright, let's take a look. Yeah, I'm too lazy to search, go, go search for his channels, so I just browse this way, just like in the old days. How are you attacking two on? Wow, he still puts that as his thingy. How to invest in Team 4 is 2 on. What's this thing? 
is two ohm, three ohm, blah blah blah, tune forks, hurting phantom, and their host stable coin. Uh, no. So that's actually interesting. He actually hasn't done a, a content update on the yields. Okay. Yeah, but no. What's hurting is basically evil, rich, billionaire assholes. And the phantom developers themselves deliberately throttling the network. But, I mean, we're, I already bitched about that, so. All right. So next content will be... We really just cannot wait for the video to process. What is it? PulseDAO.finance. But yeah, just wait for the video. I'm going to do that next. So I'll see you in a bit. Like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. Think on what I said. Well, I, know, I should stop saying that because all thoughts are lies. But yeah, just accept that fan high gas fees for Phantom are here to stay uh, for quite some time, if not forever. But, you know, the only way to change that would be to just have everyone, including you, just bitch about it. You'll get banned, probably in some form. But the more they ban people, the more people will get angry about it. And get, uh, it's just a negative feedback loop. And then maybe you might be able to force some change. So, you know. Anyway, check out uh, Comet Finance. You know, obviously do Yield Wolf, right? You're going to do this. And then, yeah, just endure... Uh, we're just, I've already accepted the high gas fees. I'm now putting at least three Phantom Idle in my MetaMask wallet at all times. And that's not really not, that's not even enough anymore, probably, at the rate this shit's going. Oh well, whatever. These yields. Gotta chase the yield, right? Anyway, see you next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, blah blah blah.